Hey everyone, Dr. Zelina here with Activita. Thanks so much for watching my channel. I'm a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. I practice integrative medicine in Los Angeles and virtually. And I specialize in women's health, mental health, and autoimmune and spiritual integration. And today I wanted to talk to you about the top causes of irregular cycles. So ladies, this is for you. Some I often see ladies come in with a problem where their cycles are not regular, meaning that they're not every month and they're not um, on a regular schedule. So a regular cycle should be about between 27 to 29 days. It coincides with the moon. Um, we ovulate around day 14, day 15. The first day of our cycle is considered the first day that we bleed. <clears throat> and so sometimes regular cycles can happen. It's happened to me and it happens to a lot of us. And I want to share with you the top causes of why this could possibly happen. Um, and hopefully this information empowers you on how to be able to correct it. So one of the top causes is stress, whether it's emotional stress or physical stress or any type of stressful life event that happens in your uh, life, it can contribute to your cycles becoming irregular. So if you've suffered um, a health condition that puts stress on your body, if you have suffered a loss of some type in your in your uh, family <clears throat> or even uh, the loss of a relationship any type of loss can put grief and strain and emotional stress on your body that can affect your menstrual cycle because your menstrual cycle is so closely tied to your hormones and your hormones are also so closely tied to your emotions and your your uh, mental and emotional state as well as the state of your nervous system. So all of this is very closely tied and connected and can have an effect on your menstrual cycle. Another uh, major cause of irregular cycles, and this is a very common one that's often overlooked, but it's lack of sleep. Ladies, if you have bad and poor sleep habits where you're sleeping five to six hours a night, it may possibly be the contributor of why your cycles are not regular every month or why they're very light. Um, so poor sleep can have a detrimental effect on all areas of your physical and mental and emotional well-being. So please, please aim for eight hours of sleep every night as much as possible. You may not get there right away if, you're, if your body is right now accustomed to sleeping five to six hours a night. Um, do it gradually. So every night, sleep 15 minutes earlier than the previous night. 15 minutes earlier than the previous night and 15 minutes earlier. The best time to get your sleep is between 9 and 5 a.m. or 10 p.m. and uh, 6 a.m. That's the best optimal time for your circadian rhythm and for your hormones. So try to aim to be in bed by 9 or 10 p.m. so that you're asleep and you're getting that really good quality rest. That will get your hormones back into balance and it'll regulate your cycle. Trust me, I've been through it. It works. And another cause that is often overlooked uh, for irregular cycles is birth control. Now I understand that birth control has its purpose because a lot of ladies do not want to get pregnant at certain times in their life. I absolutely respect that. But please understand that anytime you start interrupting the flow of your hormones with artificial hormones that come from a pill or an injection or anything like that, you are setting yourself up for problems in the long run. The best advice I can give you if you have to do birth control, opt for something that is non-hormonal. Even if you have acne, even if you have menstrual irregularities, opt for something non-hormonal and make sure that if you do have any of these problems, whether it's acne or menstrual irregularities already, that you do see a natural medicine provider that can help support you with natural medicine that is not going to affect your uh, your menstrual cycle, your womb, and your fertility in the long run. This is especially true if you hope to have kids someday. You don't wanna mess around with birth control that has hormones if you can avoid it. And this is especially true for people with autoimmune conditions. Don't mess with hormones or birth control. Um, it causes a lot of problems in the long run and um, it can take a lot of time to fix. So, so top three causes, let's go over them again really quick emotional stress or any type of stress and lack of sleep and birth control. These are the top three causes of why your cycles may be irregular. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please share it with another lady so that they can also feel empowered and take action to regulate their cycles.
If you need help or support in regulating your cycles, I am available. Send me a message. Contact information is below this video. I hope to hear from you. I encourage you to book a free discovery session, which is a phone call where you and I can talk and I can answer any questions you might have about the way that I work or questions in general. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching.